this is the pear tree. The cats like to scratch at it. And this is a peach planted last year. My personal belief is that I just don't have enough ducks out here. See all that lovely manure water? That's what this tree needs. The other place that I'm a little concerned is my trimmed um, grapevines. My untrimmed grapevines are doing just fine. The least trimmed ones are the ones that are looking the healthiest and are setting grapes. These two are my most trimmed ones, and I have no leaves, I have no buds. So I'm going to set the duck water over here next to them. And that way every time I dump it out, let's see, I think I need it up further this way, because you want it to tip in the direction of the plant. So... So... Our ground does not absorb water well, so I'm going to go over and set water next to the things that I'm the most concerned about. I'm going to turn the water down a little. There's our Drake who thinks that he hates the khaki Campbells. He does. He hates them. That little head bob thing that the girls are doing, that means breed me, I'm fertile. That's what that means, and it just pisses him off. They'll come approach him to be bred, and he just gets really frustrated with them. He will breed, but he'll only breed with his wife. I need to take all of those blooms off that rhubarb, but I don't really want to. We don't eat the rhubarb much. If you let it bolt like this, where it goes to seed, then the stems get hollow and they're not good to eat. But look how much those bees are enjoying those flowers, so why would I want to do that? And this is a cherry. I think it needs some more fertilizer. My opinion right now is that I need to put the rest of my ducks into the backyard um, so that I have lots of pool time for them and they can get these fruit trees that I just planted last year a better start. Of course, that's horseradish. Here are the others. So, I think... I don't know. I'd like to keep them all next to some water, next to a little pool. It's hard to do this one-handed. Why didn't I get the GoPro? I know, it's because I never remember... I never remember to empty it. See all that good gunk? That's going to make for some really nice trees. So I'm going to move this over here so that we can gunk up and fertilize this cherry. And again, the reason I, the other reason I do it is because it allows my, it allows my ducks to bathe and stay clean. What I'd like to do is have a hose running off the ditch pump that runs back here. But you start to have a, a bit of a pressure problem when you do that. There. Now, that will fertilize them nicely. The cherry tree that's in the front is doing really well, but I planted it over an old pig. So, of course, it has plenty of fertilizer. So, gotta make sure that you get enough hose in there that if you have it high powered, it won't just spin out. So, gonna fill that up for them. And I need to fill that one up. What? 
No, you don't have your school done. So, that's probably just what I need to do. I just need more ducks in the backyard. I am duck deficit. Probably need to go get some more barrels to fill up close to the plants that I want to be fertilized. This guy really needs the fertilizer and the water. We've had lots of water. Apparently we haven't had enough fertilizer, so I might go get a couple buckets of rabbit manure and put it at the base too. It's all such a work in progress. This is the first year that the crab apples have actually had seedlings. Every other year I've just been really surprised because usually crab apples are something of a menace because when they when their fruit fruit lands under the tree, it'll go turn into a seedling. And we've never had that happen before. This year, this year it did happen. And that is super exciting to me because it means that our, our land is finally fertile enough to accept life. There's another one. Again, this is the first year that that has happened. Always before the land has been too dry too nutrient deficit deficient sorry nutrient deficient you can see all my little hoses that run now those hoses do not run to anything that's established they don't run to the apple tree they don't run to add that apple tree they don't run to this apple tree they don't run to the gooseberries what no <gasps> This is our first year that we've had gooseberries. You see that? That gooseberry? Hooray! I think this one's a hinamaki. <gasps> it has gooseberries on it too. See? And again, it's not watered. Just the grapes. Um, we have fruit on the apple trees. Tempted to pull this out and look at that grape. Honey, there's no flies out there. Huh? There's no flies out there. Yes, there is. Honey, it's a very wet day and there's no flies out there. And why do I see flies on here? Honey, you don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there as a mulch. I don't know if this is going to come up and be happy. But now she has some sunlight. Then can I, then can I what? check the greenhouse? Honey, I already took care of the greenhouse this morning. What I need you to do is go do your chores. So there's one grape. I have one other grape over here. And again, there's the gooseberries. Here's our dead tree. It's the one that the goats killed. Did you want to go get the little saw and cut down this apple tree? Yeah. In fact, I have a saw on my own Here's mother. some roses. Um, that might be tricky. Some uh, roses. No. And again, you can see where the hub is for the... Well, maybe you can't see it. It's right in there. And then this is the one that comes off the one hose that comes off that hub. What are you doing, honey? You're not going through there. There's a hole. I know, and I don't want it to be any bigger for chickens to get through. Please don't go through that way. Again, all the white flowers are hoary cress, which are not good for animals to eat, but the bees like them. Let's see. Um, this one is another pear. There's some fruit. What was I? Oh, I was going to look at the other grapes. So grapes don't like a huge amount of water, but they like enough just to get established. Move this straw out of the way. I wonder how my quail would like this, being out in the backyard, because they wouldn't be able to fly over the fence. They might be able to fly through the, go through the fence. What? Okay, that's what I want. Thank you. I'm going to come in here and pull down the hoary crest. And just leave it as a mulch at the bottom. I 
don't know how it's going to do. But now it has some light. These ones are the more uh, temperate, or I guess not temperate, maybe temperate is the wrong word. The more delicate grape. My other grapes are Concords that are pretty hardy. Um, in here I have lots and lots of strawberries, but also lots and lots of hoary grass. So I don't know if we'll get any strawberries out of those. Just don't really know. You're going to try and cut it down with your pocket knife? Yeah. These ones, um, with the new ones, I water them maybe once a year in August. If I had more mulch back here, I wouldn't even have to water them that much. I only planted them a year ago. Yeah, at the very, very bottom. This year we don't have a very good fruit set on our Nanking cherries because they blossomed super early and the bees had already come out and tried to pollinate things and so they just missed that window with the bees. We didn't have hardly any bees on them this year. So it's going to be a light year for fruit. Um, but they're still beautiful. Anyway, so it, you can see some of the dirt. Yeah, oh I should, I will. You can see some of the dirt. And you can see that we need to clean up where the deck used to be badly. If we get yellow jackets in there. Um, this is where I have my raspberries. I need to come in and cut things down that are weeds so they don't get too established. I need to feed it to the rabbits. That's my comfrey. It's not a weed. I'm surprised at where some of the raspberries started because they aren't actually next to an old cane. So yeah, I need to come in and protect those from the ducks, but make it easier for us to get in there. And they do get a sprinkler, just because it's a larger area. It's the only place I've been able to get them to come off, yet I have lots of rabbit manure and lots of mulch in there. You can see, this is the last place that I put mulch, and it is the first place that everything is wearing through. Good job. Now that one we want to save, you know why? because we can cut it up and use it for smoking. So that one probably needs to be stored in the smokehouse, just so that Daddy knows. Now, by this time of year, if they haven't leafed out, they're dead. There's just ab absolutely no point in trying to preserve anything, because they're just gone. It is. It's dead, huh? We thought it was just going to come up from the roots and be OK to some degree, but it's not. So we might as well just get it out of the way. What else do we have? Um, our mama duck is still sitting on a nest. I know she's not fertile. It just makes me feel so bossy to try and take her down. Hmm? Good. Okay, when you're done, you're going to go put it in the greenhouse, or not the greenhouse, the smokehouse, okay? If we put the quail out here, oh my gosh, we would never be able to find those eggs. So that's that question answered, huh? Cool. You're strong. Those ones I think you're going to need to like cut with your pliers or cut them. Honey, cut them. Otherwise they're going to leave an ugly, nasty spike sticking up. You need to cut them close to the ground like you did that one. So, I know it looks a little messy, but what we're aiming for here is food forest, not um, fancy. Here, we need to get the greenhouse taken down, the old greenhouse. Here is a potato that came a volunteer. That's where I planted them last year. Then don't cut the other one. Just cut that one because you don't want it hanging around. And you can leave the other one if you want to. This one was supposed to be marigolds and strawberries. And 
And this in here is garlic. Do you like that enormous garlic? That is courtesy of rabbit poop. We also have blackberries, raspberries, comfrey, all sorts of fun things in here. More apples. More apples. More crazy mama duck that won't get off her nest. She just moves it every couple days. Okay, well, is that the one you cut? No. Okay, good. Then put up your Leatherman and go take the others. Take the others and go put them in the smokehouse and make sure you shut the door so the cats don't get in and die. Because if the cats get in there, they'll die. Yep. Happy Willow. Happy Wormwood. Happy Lovage. Um, happy New Zealand Spinach, I believe. And I believe that's St. St. John's Wort. Or it could be the chamomile. There's also some elecampane in there, I believe. And then onions in here. And true comfrey. Motherwort. Onions. Tulips. That's fine. Um. So it's interesting to see what will come up on, on its own and what won't. I am running a risk by having this water here. I could very well have chicks try to get in, but over by their food, I have their little water that's still short. And as long as I have that there, they should go there first. The other thing I have here is wormwood. Hopefully that'll keep coming on. There's more motherwort, gobo burdock, skullcap, and lovage. So we're going to fill this up. What? So because this one is just taking so long to come, I'm tempted to put some rabbit manure on it. This one's trying to fill out. Yeah, it is. It's looking good, isn't it? This one is a Saskatoon. It's doing pretty well. But so here's the best looking grape, and it's the one that I did not trim at all. And the second best looking grape is the other one that I did not trim at all. What well, does that tell you? What about that? That one isn't, doesn't seem to be coming back. Should I cut it? No. I don't know what to say about these ones. They're having a hard time. Well, Mom, if it's not going to come back, then I'll have to saw it down. Do we want to try and water it and see if we can get it to come back? I don't think that will work. I don't think so, huh? Mm -hmm. 